Hi, my name is Aida and I have been here at Neighborhood Ministries for 14 years. I was about eight or nine years old when I started coming and I actually started coming um, to Kids Club first. My sisters and I would see the buses come through the neighborhood um, of every summer and we were very curious as to where these buses full of kids were going. So. Well, we finally built up the courage to go up to um, the bus driver, who at the time was Jorge, and he invited us to um, Kids Club. He told us all about it. So we went in and we told my mom. She was a little, um, she was a little spectacle about it at first, and then um, we told her that we'd get free shoes at the end of Kids Camp, and with her ha being a single mother of nine kids, um, that was something that she could really use help on for back to school and we were able to convince her to let us get on these big buses full of kids. In the beginning I was uh, very, very scared and nervous um, just because I wasn't used to being around so many kids and so many different people of all skin colors and um, different backgrounds. So I was very nervous um, and I didn't want to leave my sisters uh, because we were just always together anywhere we went. Neighborhood Ministries was probably the first place that ever made me memorize um, a Bible verse. <laughs> or I shouldn't say made me, but that uh, made me want to uh, memorize the Bible verse and read the Bible. Um, it was the first place that a a Bible story was read to me and actually illustrated out to me in my classes throughout the programs too. My senior year of high school, I, I knew God was showing up for me because I was getting ready to give up on school and um, just completely leave it. But I had some, I had a mentor here, his name is Rick, who he, he, he told me that I could do it and that I should, I shouldn't give up. And for a long time, um, I had a little voice in my head that always told me that I was worthless and I wasn't going to amount to a lot in my life. Um, and th this summer, I was a intern and we were at camp. <clears throat> and during camp worship, I started thinking about my high school career and how it was kind of going downhill for me. And um, I, I broke down and I left chapel. Rick came and found me and he asked me what was going on. And I, I talked to him and I told him, I told him what was going on. I told him that I was done with school, that I didn't think that I could go any further. And he, he told me, he told, he told me that I couldn't give up, that God had big plans for me. He sure did, because just with that, um, Rick helped me find a school that was going to accept me with the very little credits that I had. And um, I worked very hard to graduate. I believe that because of these programs, I, I, have, I have also become more Christ-like in a way. Um, that I, I am looking out for my community and making sure that um, those kids that are now in the program are being loved on and cared for and that they, they know that they are coming to a safe place, just how um, I, I was when I, I was a child coming here.